Hey. So I just got home a few minutes ago. And I figured, like, I haven't made a video for a little bit now. Let me take this off. too many keys on my keys. I don't need that many keys. Anyway, I'm going to show you. My roommate, like, makes things so pretty. Look at that. I come home and I see he's got this, like, lovely little it's like lemons and a wreath and in a wreath <laughs> in a wreath around this like marble stand and it's just so pretty here there's our backyard So pretty, so pretty. Oh, also speaking of speaking of pretty, my mom got me these little dragonfly earrings. Let's go outside for a second. The sun is just setting. It's getting dark out. So I had a pretty good day at work and I have off tomorrow, which is awesome. I wasn't expecting that. And uh try to have a good good Saturday. I'm excited. So, I don't know if you've been hanging out on my channel for a while now. Um, you'll notice that my content has changed a little bit. Um, I haven't posted much lately. Uh, I've been working. And I didn't have to work for a little bit. So I didn't. You know, because, like, why would you? <laughs> Anyway, no, work, working's been good though. It's actually like, I was having like insomnia issues and all this stuff and then like I had to get up really early for work and oh, big surprise, it's a little easier to sleep. I still struggle with it, but not as bad as I used to. Um, it helps that, you know, I have a you know, reason to get up and people that count on me and even when I don't have perfect relationships with uh, with my coworkers, I know that um, you know the doctors depend on me and the patients depend on me. And when I have a rough day, you know, like it's still worth it. Like it's not just about the money. Um, but I am lucky to work at a really great, really great place. Anyway, so I guess another um, big thing, especially if you've, you've been here for a minute, is, uh, is I used to like smoke cigarettes and talk with you guys. And actually, um, I quit smoking. Yeah, it's been a few months now. I didn't want to like say it right away and just be like, oh, I quit smoking and then fail and be like, just kidding guys. Um, so, yeah, 
I, I put back a, I don't know, I guess in September, it's almost a year. It's not, it's not quite a year yet, but you know, I passed the six month point a little bit ago and I realized, okay, I actually did this. I, I quit smoking. It was such a big part of my life. It was like, um, it was escapism for me. Um, it would calm me down. I have like a lot of anxiety and nerve stuff and like it was a great way to just like step out of a situation and just like go get some air and just like have a cigarette and calm down. Um, but now, you know, so like I work at a, I work at a doctor's office and I did and I do reception. I didn't want to smell like cigarette smoke. Because I thought that that would like, especially like some of the older people that come in, I didn't want them to like judge me and then by judging me judge the practice I work for. And they didn't like make me do it and you know, it was just like something that I was like this would be good. Especially because it's a 10 hour day and I, I just get a lunch break, I don't get like cigarette breaks, I don't get like a 15 minute break in the middle of my shift. Um, I just, uh, you know, I just got to work. And if I have to go to the bathroom, someone, someone will cover the front desk. Or if I need to just grab a snack or something, like there's coverage, but like, I don't have like, oh, now I'm going to go have a cigarette. Like that doesn't work for um, as busy as the practices that I work at. Um, so I started out, it was actually, so when I first started working there, I didn't plan on quitting. I just planned on using nicotine replacement therapy while I was in the office. And um, I did. I used nicotine lozenges and I smoked after work. I didn't smoke in the morning as much as I wanted to. And I would wait to have a cigarette when I got home from work and use nicotine replacement the rest of the day. <laughs> and, you know, nicotine replacement sucks a little bit. Like it's, um, like if you do a lozenge too quickly, it makes you really nauseous. At least it makes me really nauseous, um, nauseated. And uh, it was becoming a hassle, but I still thought, you know, I'm never gonna quit smoking cigarettes. It's like a part of my personality. It's like integrated into my life so deeply. How, how could I quit? So I actually go to this. So like I'm religious or whatever. I, I, you've seen me talk about icons and Orthodox Christianity. Like that's my whole gig. Um, and like I had left it for a few years, and, you know, then I came back like you do. Um, so I went to this service. It's called, um, it was the uh, Akathist of the Inexhaustible Cup. And like, it's like a prayer service for people who are like addicted to drugs and alcohol or whatever. It's like basically, it's a special prayer service, like that's meant to help heal addicts. And like, I didn't go in saying like, oh, I'm gonna go be healed from cigarettes or whatever. But like, I was doing this service and I was like crying and like, I was just like having like a spiritual experience or whatever. And I said to myself, okay, I'm going to not smoke a cigarette on the ride home. I, you know, I just had this beautiful service. I, I feel moved to tears. Like, and it's not cause like, I feel like bad for smoking. It's like, it's hard to describe. It wasn't like, oh, I repent from smoking cigarettes. It wasn't that. It was just like, I have a problem that seems so overwhelming to me that I can't imagine going through the pain of quitting. As I had tried quitting a whole bunch in the past, like multiple times. And, um, I get really sick. I've gone through withdrawals from different, you know, medications that doctors have put me on, but I know every time that I quit smoking cigarettes, like for three days, it just was hellish. I was so sick. I was so nauseous and I had terrible headaches. And like, I suffer from chronic migraines and these are like worse than migraines. You just like, I, like it literally for me felt like I was dying every time I quit smoking. Like I just had severe withdrawals. So it seemed insurmountable. So I don't smoke a cigarette on the ride home. And then I get home and I'm like, I'm not craving a cigarette yet. I'm not having withdrawals yet. So I'll just wait 
until I start having withdrawals. I start because normally I would start feeling withdrawals from nicotine at one to four hours after smoking my last cigarette. So by the time I get to the four hour mark, like I am shot and I am feeling pretty sick at that point. I just never got sick. And I've done this a lot. And like my daily life was like every day, like if I went four hours without smoking a cigarette, like it wasn't good. Like I'm in severe pain already. I just never had withdrawals for the, the whole, you know, that three day that usually is hell of having withdrawals. I didn't have any. So I just sort of took that as like, whoa, that's kind of miraculous, especially when I've done this a couple times and I know how bad it is and I just didn't have any withdrawals. So I just didn't get them the whole the whole quitting time like I didn't get withdrawals there were times I wanted a cigarette really bad but I wasn't sick from nicotine withdrawal so like psychologically there's plenty of times where I really 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 wanted a cigarette but I didn't and like I said it hasn't been a full year yet but so far I haven't smoked a cigarette again so that's what's up it's good to see you guys thanks for stopping by hope you have a good night um i've been trying to think of like like i don't have a lot of time i'm like working all the time right so like i don't have as much free time as i used to but i've been thinking of stuff that i want to do for youtube and like i've been really into fountain pens lately and i don't know like i thought about maybe like i have an art degree and i thought about like maybe like filming me like drawing or writing or something like that I don't know but um if any of you you weirdos would be into that let me know and maybe I'll you know your words of encouragement like do a lot like one of you might say something that seems like really small and insignificant to you but then I'll like yeah, it's just like it can be really motivating and um you know y'all are just strangers on the internet and you took a minute to say something and I appreciate it and I may not always do it or agree it agree with it like especially if you guys say some weird crap like sorry I'm probably gonna remove your comment if it's too weird if I'm not too lazy sometimes I forget to look at shit um sorry I used a swear word and thanks for watching my video these are my migraine glasses they make light not hurt so bad okay so I quit smoking. That's my story. Good to see you guys. Bye.